had a bunch of falls, but he was a good guy. Hey, yo. All I want is that world and everything in But he, uh, he's been having problems, so, you know, he did the best he could. <laughs> and I said, you know, Vince, I don't have to have the most. I just want a lot. You know, for me, I see it as a chance to maybe pay back some people who've done me wrong. Will we hit the music? Look Whoa! Up there. Look up there! There he is! You talk about a familiar entrance! Scott Hall! It's wrestling's real outlaw, Scott Hall! You know, a guy pulled a gun on me, and I took it away from him and shot him, point blank, with a 45 caliber. A guy is dead, and, and I'm the reason, and this is bad. On January the 15th of 1983, Scott Hall was just 25, with his whole life ahead of him. Working in a nightclub and strip bar known as the original Dollhouse, a tall, dark and handsome young man, Hall was still trying to figure out his place in the world, and the direction he wanted his journey to take. When an altercation with one of the patrons of the bar would change that journey forever. Furious, Scott Hall made his way outside when he heard of what was taking place. Of course it was over a girl. He smashed all the windshields out of my car. Now I'm sure we've all acted out of emotion, especially when we were younger, and even more so when we had partaken in a couple of drinks. Anger and rage make men specifically act erratically and often with violence, when a verbal conversation would most likely prove the better solution. Scott Hall found out that day. A split second of violence can negatively affect you every moment for the rest of your life. I, I walked outside and a uh, security guard was there watch, who watches the cars. I said, where is he? He's around the corner talking to the manager who was my friend. Now, the situation had exploded to a point of no return. A fistfight between these two hulking behemoths could have led to a concussion, perhaps a broken nose and some scuffed knuckles. But as soon as the firearm entered into the equation, it became a life or death ordeal. And as I closed the distance, man, I mean, I remember what he was wearing, what I was wearing, what it smelled like. I mean, it's burnt in my brain. Like, I drilled him, he went down and his shirt went up. And he was reaching for the gun, so I reached for it too. Scott had reacted with aggression to a man who had been physically abusive and had destroyed his personal property. And now, one of these men was about to die. We wrestled around with the gun. I took it and shot him in the head. And that was it. A man lay dead on the ground, pouring blood onto himself and the wet tarmac below. It was never Scott's intention for things to take such a dark and drastic turn, and now he must calm his panic, settle the adrenaline, and deal with the situation. Police were called, and Hall was honest about what had taken place, with the security guard and nightclub manager backing up his story to the authorities. Scott Hall was a nervous wreck, shivering and shaking as the police put him in handcuffs, arrested him and led him away from the crime scene. He was taken to a local jail and held in custody for three days before being charged with second-degree murder. However, the case was dropped only hours later as the local law enforcement decided that they didn't have enough evidence to follow up on a prosecution. Scott left the cell and made his way home, where he suffered from what he referred to as a nervous breakdown. Post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms may start within one month of a traumatic event but sometimes symptoms may not appear until years after the event. These symptoms cause significant problems in social or work situations and in relationships. They can also interfere with your ability to go about your normal daily tasks. PTSD symptoms are generally grouped into four types, intrusive memories, avoidance, negative changes in thinking and mood, and changes in physical and emotional reactions. Symptoms can vary over time or vary from person to person. Now, with the value of hindsight, it is clear through Scott's own testament and the quotes of those who were closest to him that this incident, the murder of a fellow human being, left Scott Hall with a deep and profound sadness, a guilt which would stay with him every day until he died. 
I did the, probably the most unhealthy thing I could have done. I should have sought counseling like right then, but I didn't, I didn't know anything. I was a kid. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental health condition that's triggered by a terrifying event, either experiencing it or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about the event. Most people who go through traumatic events may have temporary difficulty adjusting and coping, but with time and good self-care, they usually get better. If the symptoms get worse, last for months or even years, and interfere with your day-to-day -day functioning, you may have PTSD. Thank <laughs> you.